You said, is there any prophecies about Jesus Christ? Yeah, he's asking, basically, he said, what he is trying to say is, Isaiah the prophecy is not about Jesus himself, okay? It because is, it doesn't mention his name. I mean, it doesn't need to. If you look at Isaiah, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. It's not question need. The question I'm asking It is, doesn't say Muhammad in the Old Testament, does it? Jesus is prophesied that you believe in, so why is he not prophesied by name? That's the question I'm asking. For example, if he was so important that he is the end of everything, right? Why is he not even mentioned by name even once in the teachings of the Jewish scripture? Why not? Why not? I mean, it doesn't, it, need, it doesn't need to be because Muhammad was not mentioned in the Torah. It's not or about the why need to be but Jesus to be. Christ in Isaiah, saying, why is Isaiah 53. In, if you look at if you look at Isaiah 53, it talks about this Messiah will come. He'll be pierced for our transgressions. He'll wipe away our sins, which Muhammad didn't do. So we know this prophecy was not uh, fulfilled by no one else but Jesus Christ. He's explaining. No, he's preaching. He's explaining. So you look at Isaiah 53. Asking, I am asking, why he is the name the name not mentioned? And the answer was, he doesn't need to. Be. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's not an answer of my, to my question. Ask him what. Well, Muhammad yeah. a prophet. Say what I think look, look. First, let's deal with that. What he said, okay. I I said Christ was a Muslim, and you disagree. I did agree. I did disagree. I don't yeah. believe that. And I said, I don't and I said, a Muslim is someone who surrenders their will, yes. willingly, willingly and sincerely to the will of God. Now. If you were to use that definition and apply that definition to Christ, did he willingly and sincerely submit his will to the will of God? The answer is, without a shadow of doubt, yes, he did. So in that definition, that makes him a Muslim. Not Islam, really. Islam, Islam, Islam came please. 600 years after. Islam, Islam, Islam is, is, Islam is, please, sir, please. Islam right, came right, 600 right. years after. Islam, Islam is a state of submission. Someone who submits and surrender the will, that state of submission is called Islam. So, so is a Buddhist a Muslim? Five is a Sikh a Muslim? Thousand they years ago, to God? Or 10,000 years ago, doesn't matter. Whoever has a state of submission and surrender to the will of one God, their ideology, their belief system, we say, is Islam. Right. So just now, in that, brothers, in that definition, in that definition, I do have to put it to you. And uh, the can thing I is, first? the, the thing is, is, the God. If, in all, in all honesty, when he, when he, he's clear about the submission in the will of God, yeah, right? Correct. Submitting to the accordance to the will of God. So if he was submitting to the will of God at that time. And the Jews also themselves were submitting to the will of God, to exactly. one God, but he was crucified anyhow, even though he was preaching Islam. So that's a bit of a, a, bit of a concern, brother, right? right? That's, so, that so disseminates the whole argument. So Jesus Christ. Is Hare Krishna a Muslim? Are these people Muslims? Yes or no? I heard the question. So let me continue now. So anyone who submits and surrenders their will, be it Hare Krishna, be it Guru Nanak, be it... That's a heresy right there, Mansoor. You are committed to heresy right, right there. Finished. You cut me halfway through. Try to have a civilized discussion, right? So anyone, anyone. So when you're talking about human beings, any human beings, past, present and future, if they willingly and sincerely submit their will to the one true God, it makes them a Muslim. That's whether incorrect. It be, whether it be Buddha, Krishna, any of the gurus of Sikhism, whether it be anyone you want to name. So I said Abraham the Patriarch. He, I know, submitted his will to God. So according to our universal definition, 
his religion of submission in Islam, and he is a Muslim. If I were to ask you now what was his religion, you would have a clue because you will be struggling to find out what religion. I will have to answer. Prophet, every prophet and messenger, they brought religion. Can I answer now because you just religion, spoken and you're not let me and speak? That religion was and Mansur, you to answer, okay. try to understand this. Every prophet and messenger, they came with this religion, this message, this ideology, this worldview, this outlook, this belief system in which one is to submit and surrender their will I would like to make a point and now. sincerely to one God and that state of submission of Islam. Okay. According to, I will let you speak. According to our definition, Abraham was a Muslim. Moses was a Muslim. Jesus was a Muslim. Because all of those prophets, they did not worship them. They worship the one and only true God. Yahweh. Like, like, like Jesus Christ. Okay, now Mansu, you're not letting me speak, speak, so I will speak I now. I will let you speak. Be quiet, my friend. I will, I will speak. speak. I will let you speak. 30 more seconds. So Jesus Christ, even in Christianity, he is a Muslim in Christianity because he submitted his will willingly to Yahweh. To Yahweh. God. Now, I will let you now speak. Okay. Explain to me what I said so far. Does okay, it make sense? So it does not make sense at all because how can you say these people are Muslims when you had Muhammad who has false revelations from these demons, he had a black magic worked upon him. So how can you trust this man as your revelations? Abraham was not Muslim. I showed you from scripture, from the Torah, that Abraham was a Gentile. And the Torah was the scripture which Muhammad confirmed. Now you're saying Jesus Christ was a Muslim. Jesus Christ never said he was Muslim. Jesus Christ came underneath the law. He was a Jew. He said, I've not came to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law. Not a single dot will pass away till it has been fulfilled. Now when Jesus Christ said it is finished, that is him being in submission to the Jewish law. Now the Jewish law is passed away with, so he was never a Muslim. And if you're saying anybody is a Muslim because they submit to God, are you saying a Buddhist is a Muslim, a Hare Krishna is a Muslim, a Sikh is a, a, Sikh is a Muslim? That is a heresy in your faith right there. And you, what, you also said about, um, what, else, what, what, what was your other question that you said? What was the question that you said about Jesus Christ? What was the question that you said about Jesus Christ? So you, so you said Jesus was a Muslim. Give me any historical evidence in history from 100 AD, from, from 70 AD to for the, the first century where Jesus Christ was a Muslim in historical documents. If you look at these historical documents from these church fathers, such as Polycarp, Ignatius, Irenaeus, um, you have such as Pony the Younger, you have people such as Eusebius. All these people knew Jesus Christ was crucified and resurrected. In your Islam, his religion? Jesus was a Jew. Okay? Not his religion, not he, his race. he was a Jew. He was a Jew. Not not his race. He was a Jew. Jesus was a Jew. If I'm an Arab, it's not my religion. Uh, his race is Middle Eastern. He's probably, he's probably brown like you. If I'm an Arab or a Pakistani, is that my religion? That's race. Jesus was a Jew. Is Jew, be, is Jew a religion or a race? It's a religion. Judaism. Jew is a religion? Judaism, they are they Judaism are classed under Jews. Was Jesus a follower of Judaism? He was submit he was following the he was a he was submitted to Yahweh, the father. So right? So he came was underneath he, of Judaism? he came underneath the old covenant to fulfill it because we couldn't do it. So Jesus Christ had to come underneath the old covenant to what fulfill it. He was a Jew. He what was his Judaism. He was he was following Judaism. So his religion is Judaism? Yes. Okay. So let's, let's understand that. But I you didn't answer my question. I said to you, how can you trust uh, Muhammad when it's written in Sahih Bukhari 5765, magic was work on Allah's messenger so that he used to think that he has sexual relations with his wife while he actually knows. How can you trust a man who, had, who was possessed by black magic? That's what I want to know from you. So Jesus Christ I, defeated I Satan. He defeated Satan. In having a discussion on the topic that we're discussing. I've told you. You're going to bring... Yes, you know, Why do you debate me? You can even bring the, the, the sink and the bath as well. Talk about this question. Question, right? I've, answered, I've answered your question. I said Jesus. According to the definition I provided, Okay, I'm right here. Was, Come and talk to me then. This is Brandon Cameron's boy. You're going to be great. Right? Anyone who supposed to do the will of God is a Muslim. No, in the technical sense, in the last messenger when they come, if they submit their will to God through if that is the language, will expressed in the last messenger, that makes them technically a Muslim. So, so what Jesus submitted in the Quran, Isa submitted to Allah, not the Father. Jesus called God the Father. Did In your Quran, did Isa call Allah the Father? Yes or no? What's your name? Ish. 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 
Ish. Yes. Ish. As I was saying, I am saying every time a prophet came in this world with guidance from God. How do you know if they're a prophet or not? Answer the question. How do you know if, you're, if, if they, these are true prophets from are God or not? Going to now let me speak or are you going to just keep on thinking about the next question? No, no, I want to say to you, how do you know Listen. if these people Listen. was truly sent from God when as prophets? When Moses, the prophet, peace be upon him, came to the children of Israel, he invited them to worship one true God. We do that as well, and, yes. And to submit their will to this one true God. Mm. And All Moses the prophet did like that. Based on Anyone who submitted who they were their will at the time of Moses, when he heard the message or she heard the message, mm. they will be technically a Muslim as well as generically a Muslim. That's a heresy but right there. Wait, let me finish. If you don't know about what we believe about Islam, then get some education. I mean, I hear some people say you're an ex Muslim. So now we realize what kind of knowledge you have about Islam. Zilch. Now, you can say what you want. Now, now, you can say what you want. Now, now we realize. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman Rahim, Maliki Yawmudin, Iyaka Nabudu, Wayaka Nastain, Ettina Sirat al Mastakim, Sirat al Lazina, and I'm Salaim, Gayram of the Bilay, and Rali Lami. Okay? Beside Dakulut. I do not know that. I do not, I do, I am, I do not know everything, okay? Now you realize I have said it to you. I do not know that, and I put my hands up. Stop, stop. Every Muslim, when they pray one time every day, they recite Dua Qunut. Every Muslim does that. When you're Muslim, Allah Musalli Allah Alim Wa 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 so why why do you pray to Muhammad then? What? Why do you pray to Muhammad? On planet Earth as well. My soul, why do you pray to Muhammad? Answer my question. Wait a second. Why do you pray to Muhammad? One second. You pray to Muhammad, Mansur. Listen, listen. So now Ish is trying to demonstrate to the crowd. I didn't know everything as a Muslim, but I prayed my five daily prayers. I know read the Quran. You cannot say if I was a Muslim or not. I am speaking, right? Okay. This is So Ish is trying to demonstrate by just reciting. Like, I eat banana in my breakfast, whatever in Arabic, and so on. It doesn't make you a Muslim. I simply wanted to understand whether you're a Muslim, you know, and you, you, you seem to... So, okay, can I explain to you? I have not finished. You seem to go around explaining to me you're an expert in Islam. I didn't say it. You, okay, you asked me. No, good. I was quiet. About okay, fine. So you are not an expert in Islam. Good. I was. You seem to me you weren't expert. You say a Muslim is one who submits themselves to Allah. And as a Muslim, I prayed my father. Are you I gave my zakat. I did Umrah. I was an ex-Muslim because I submitted myself to Allah, like how you say that's what Muslim is. So according to you, believe you have done a fallacy right there. Every Muslim, when they say they're a Muslim, they learn how to pray, right? You want me to go like this? You want me to you want to, you want to go like, is that what you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Wait, wait. They learn how to pray, right? Your heart has been hardened, Mansoor. Why are you so afraid now? Let I have showed you to do this. Let me, let you me, to do this. Let me speak. Let me speak. Relax. Calm down. Calm down. Right? Calm down. Every Muslim learns how to pray. One of the prayer, I'm not going to say what prayer, is in which we recite Dua Qunut. Right? Dua Qunut. Every Muslim who learns how to pray, they would know how to recite Dua Qunut. Now, you said you prayed five times a day, so you, we expect you would have recited Dua Qunut in your prayers. Right. Now, recite Dua Qunut. So, I don't have to be your dimmy here. Recite okay. Dua Qunut. As I said to you, I left Islam four years ago. Recite Dua Qunut. And of course, you're not going to remember everything. You but I can pray to you right now. I can pray to you right now. So, 
I used to do. I used to pray Sunnah and Fardz basically. Did you pray Witter? I didn't pray Witter. I used to pray Fardz and Sunnah and Nafil. I never used to pray Witter. When do Muslims pray Witter? Witter is in uh, Isha. Is it Isha prayer? Is it? Right. So is Witter prayer? So I had just proved I am an ex-Muslim because I've said so wait, many things. You proven anything. If I forget one thing, I'm an ex-Muslim. Ah, no, 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 no. So now. You are a Muslim for how long? He doesn't believe it. He doesn't how believe. long were you Muslim for? Only prove Jesus to um, them. I was a Muslim for 15 years, but Jesus Christ. I had an encounter with Jesus Christ. Amen. He healed me from my depression. Amen. He healed me from my illness. Amen. Allah didn't heal me. Jesus stayed in my hand too. So, so for 15 years, as a Muslim, you did not pray with us? No, because you, you can pray. Which, which, which madhab did you follow? I, I was a Sunni Muslim. Which madhab did you follow? Muslim. Muslim. Madhab. What do you mean by Muslim? It doesn't know what a madhab is. I was a Sunni Muslim. Okay. Sunni Muslims, brother, one second. Sunni, I... Sunni Muslims follow, generally speaking, a madhab or currently they don't follow a madhab. Mm. But 15 years ago, did you follow a madhab? Okay. So when I was a Muslim, right, I got told a Muslim is one who prays to Allah no, no, five no, no. times I'm a day, goes to Umrah, okay. reads the Quran, fast, well, goes, and that's what well, I do. I do not, I was not knowledgeable in these things. All I did was submit myself to Allah, okay. not in knowledge, okay. but in my prayer life. You can establish that. But why are you going off topic? Stop, stop. Let's, stop. When let's you, talk about why? Jesus. Let's talk about Jesus. When you're in your tashahud, did you do this? I know. I do. Attaiyatu lillahi wa sallamatu wa taibatu aslam laika. You know, ayyuhan abbi, you should pray to Muhammad. Wa rahmatulli barakatu aslam laika wa rabdilli swalin. Ashadu la ilha wa ashtu anna Muhammad ad-Dar Rasulu. That's what I did. And then what happened to this? And then, and then I didn't. I didn't go like this. I know. I know. I, 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 I just played back down. Right. So you followed him up. So you did follow Madhab, I would. according to the Sunni Madhab, all If people say I'm, an ex I'm a false ex-Muslim, you have seen how I have said so many things. I am not I saying I, I don't remember everything at all. I'm going to say even something more than that. But before that, so even if you were a Shafi or a Hanafi or a Maliki mm. or a Hanbali, you would have prayed Wutta. But for 15 years, you didn't pray Wutta. Um, what kind of Muslim? Because in the mosque, they just pray the Sunnah. The Imam leads the Sunnah prayer or the Faris prayer. They never leave the Nafil prayers. They never leave the Wutta prayer. Maybe in Tarawih, they do these prayers. But they, in, the, in the mosque, the Imam will just do the Sunnah prayers and I will go behind that. Uh, they will do it afterwards, but it's not it's not compulsory. It is not compulsory, my friend. It is not it is not gula, it's not it is not a sin to pray with it or not. So, but you so, must so, do the Sunnah prayer so in Islam. The, so the madhab that you followed, it was not wajib to pray with it. I don't I just followed when I was a Muslim, I followed Muhammad. I didn't follow any other man. I follow Muhammad. But I didn't follow him, you worshipped him. I did, yes, now I know I know when he said Attayatu Lillahi Waslawatu Watayabatu Aslam Alaika Ayyuhana Bayu you say peace be upon you a prophet so you if he is in a grave why are you talking to a dead man that is shirk and you are associating him with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you are committed a sin right there Mansu. so you must repent of this and come to jesus christ so you so while you were in your islamized period for 15 years so you don't want to listen to what was the concept of god so 
Islam came from Satan and Satan comes to deceive people. Satan wants people us to worship men. Satan yeah. wants us so to worship idols. That? So as most know, Jesus Christ opened my heart. You are spiritually hard in my soul. And what? Jesus seek the truth and the truth will set you free. Yes. So Jesus opened my eyes. Hallelujah. Jesus opened my eyes. Yes. So when, you, While you were a when I came to Jesus, he revealed to me that you worship so the black birds, Ad yes. Muhammad. Yes. So you are for 15 years so you Muslim. don't want uh, anymore. What was Satan the concept of God over here? So the concept of God that we get taught by Imams that you, no, you had in mind. Then okay, so I the, the concept Christian, okay. what was the concept of God? Oh, you can I explain it to you then? Will you let me say? We had the concept of believing that Al you, yes, we, you, 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 I yeah. was only to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when I came to Jesus Christ, oh, stop, stop. he revealed to me he that you worship to the Kaaba and Muhammad. Uh, so you uh, are committing a before, sin right there, Masood. Yes. Hallelujah. You found Holy Christ or Jesus Christ or Buddha, whatever. You left I'm talking Adam. about the period for 15 years when you were in your Islamized period. Yes. In, in that time period, what are the concepts of God that you had in mind? The concept that we had was the Tawheed. You had, not we, you. Tawheed. No, Allah. What, what is that concept? The concept of Kulawala Wahad, no, Ahad. But Allah is one. Okay, well, right? What but kind of one? What kind of when I came to Jesus Christ, no, people no, wrote no, to me no, that no. you worship Allah, yes. the black box, Al Muhammad. Yes. But you didn't know that because yes. you were hiding, Mansur. Yes. Come yes. to Christ and he yes. shall set you free. Yes, yes. Mansur, you did. After yes. you have converted, have you become brave? Dead. You're not. No, I am become Good. awakened and spiritually right. enlightened Good. by Good. the one true God, Christ Jesus. So you should be able to have a conversation. He is the Lord. Before you came to Christ, what was your belief? Let's have a conversation about that. Okay. So in that time period for 15 years, you believed God was one. What kind of one? Ahad. Ahad. What is it? What he said it. Ahad. What kind Ahad. of one? Ahad. God, are you trying to, are you trying to, God is spirit. We cannot comprehend God to our limit. Okay? We, we can we cannot Daniel, comprehend God to Daniel our limits. God is beyond so, our limitations. So when I was a Muslim, yes. I was not comprehending if God had a shin, if God had two right hands. Yes. I did not think of that. Yes. I just got I just got told God was spirit. Yes. Have a conversation with you. I'm answering. You're not liking the answer. What? You're not liking the answer because what? the devil has hardened your heart, yes, right. yes. The devil has yes. hardened your heart. Yes. 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 The yes. concept that you had, not that you didn't have. Yep. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. The concept, not what you didn't have, but the concept you did have. So let's go back to that period. You had a concept of God for 15 years. In that concept, you believe God was one. What kind of one? Of? What kind of one was he it? Uh -huh. one, of. No, what one, kind of? Of one? What kind of one? What kind of what? One is literally God in it. You cannot. I told. I've told you so many times. When we are Muslim, we are told that we cannot limit God. We cannot comprehend God's so what kind nature. Of did you so we in? have just been told Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is just one. But when I came to Jesus Christ, I realized Allah has two right hands. If you keep on he doing has a shin. If you do that, if you do that, we're gonna end this conversation. Okay, okay. Because that shows like your brain dead. I've told, told you. I've told you. I have a request from you. Mm. I am going to talk about that 15 periods of your life. Yes. Not anything after at this minute. Mm. So, so brothers, brothers. So you had a concept in which God was one. Yes. What kind of oneness? Is that oneness something that is... He had absolute oneness or relative oneness? oneness. I believe God, when I was a Muslim, I just believe God was one in whole. Absolutely one. If God is one, it's made up of many things. As a Muslim, I did not believe that. But when I found out the Christian, stop, 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 stop. Allah had two right hands. Stop. He had a shin, right? He had a shin. I realized Islam is a unity. That's what Tawheed means. A unification of two things. So you believe in two gods and a black box as well. What did I tell you? You're not letting I'm not I know. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not a dimmy here. I'm not a dimmy. Let's have a discussion with okay. you. Then let's have a discussion in the way that we well, I don't have to answer your way because you go by a script and I don't have to answer your way. I am not interested in the and your way. You like men or women as your sexual partner. I'm not interested. Likewise, I am focusing on this 15 years of your life in which you were Islamicized. I said to you, I believe in Ahad. 
that Allah was one. Yes. And now I believe in Tawheed. Yes. Allah is unified with different parts, with different people. Did you believe this one God have daughters and children and sons? In Islam, I, as the Quran says, Allah has no children. He cannot have because children. He, don't have because he has no partners. But when it comes to Mary, Mary can have children. So Allah has contradicted himself. That Allah has no children or sons or daughters. So you believe Allah had... had He's very limited. Did you Allah believe Allah him. was self-sufficient? He don't have wife. I believe he, was, he had all these attributes. He was self-sufficient, omnipotent, so omnipotent. you believe he was self-sufficient? Even Mary had... Oh, no, no, I believe, I believe he, was, he, was, he was sufficient. He could do anything he wanted to do. So Mary you believe Allah, God, was self-sufficient? I believe Allah could do anything he wants to do. Wait. I have said it to you. Did you believe Allah could cease to exist? If he can cease to exist. I mean, no, that he, I believe he, he, could, he was able to limit himself, maybe yes, but not cease to exist because that goes against so his you nature. You believed as a Muslim for 15 years, Allah could cease to exist. I didn't say that. So what did you believe? I said, Allah, what did as we're Muslim, not your belief now. I am telling what you. What did you believe then? We believe that Allah, right, you cannot comprehend him, right? Uh -huh. He does not have any children, does not have any sons, right? You cannot see him, right? But as a Christian, I can see. You're going back to Isaac. Like I can see as a man, as a that man. God can do anything he wants to do. If God wants to come down to his creation, of course he can do that, Mansu. Now you are limiting God. Did you believe the picture is clear. being self-sufficient meant he doesn't need anything, including children? No, I believe I believe he could do anything he wants to do. No, did you believe then being self-sufficient? He doesn't need children? Did you believe that? I mean, he doesn't need to, but if he wants to, he can. Uh, if he wants so, to, he can. So you believe... Yeah. That, that means you are limiting Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are limiting He's Allah. He's so limiting. You, even you are God limiting him. Allah. He, he, even God, God can come on You are limiting God. Allah. Can on his creation. Anytime he wants. That's what you Pardon? So you believe God can have children. That's what, so that's what you believe. Are you, you know, by that logic, Not I can, I can say, no, what I can say Adam is the son of Allah. Isa is the son of Allah because they're no biological what parents. The, Quran the sons of God okay. is referred to spiritual sons. So, is referred to spiritual sons. Did you read the Quran within this 15 year period of time? I read it in Arabic. As a, we did, I, didn't, I didn't look in English, but I read it in Arabic. But now as I came a Christian, I read it in Arabic. So in Arabic language that you read, did you even once try to find out what it means? I confess to you, no. But later on, as a Christian, I did. No, I'm not interested in what I did. after when you became a rapist, what happened to you? I'm not Why? Because I'm talking about that 15 period of time. When when you became a terrorist and what happened, that's a different story. When you became a rapist, that's a different story. Before you became a rapist, a terrorist or whatever, that's a different story. 15 years of this time, did you believe that the heavens and the earth is about to be destroyed when people ascribe a son to God? A son to Allah? A son to Allah. Yeah. What do you mean by that? If somebody you say, As a Muslim, did you not realize whoever ascribes a son yes. to Allah? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Okay. Yeah? yeah, so I believe, yeah. As a Muslim, yeah. you so cannot why, say you're a son why, of Allah. Why did, why did Allah specifically warn people you know what? not to ascribe a son to okay, God? Okay, because it wasn't Allah. It was a shaitan. It was a demon who came to Muhammad. And Muhammad is the, uh, the demon is the author of the Quran. When Muhammad was in a cave, let me explain. When Muhammad was in a cave of Hira, the angel came to him and pressed him three times. See, he couldn't breathe. Also, Muhammad was possessed by black magic, which is written in your sources. So why do you believe a man who was possessed by black magic when so three sons read? Answer my question now. I'm giving, I'm giving you a question. In your 15 years, you believe God was a demon. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, no, I when Jesus you. Christ no, no. opened my eyes to the truth, no, I'm he set me free. I'm not and he revealed to me when you that demons could come as an angel of light. Do you see and that was, not, that was not Allah, but that was a shaitan who came to yes, Muhammad. That, that was a demon who came to Muhammad. Right. Yeah. You are right. You are right. Do, you do you want to have a conversation with me? Can I say one thing? No, do you want to have a conversation with me? I'll say one thing, right? Do you want to have a conversation with me? I would love to pray for you. Do you want to have a conversation with me? I would love to pray for you. One last time. Do you want to have a conversation with me or not? If you let me, because you don't let me talk. Do you want to have a conversation? You don't let me ask you not? questions. You just gave out your dialogue script that you have memorized in your head. So, because you don't want to have a conversation with me, why are you wasting your time? Because I want to ask you one question and I, you have not answered it. End of discussion. Okay, God bless you, Monsoon. You are not interested to have a conversation with me. <laughs> I gave you again and again. Well done. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> Well done, well done, that is brilliant. Well done, that is brilliant, that you took him on. Well done. That's very good.
Well done. God bless. God bless. I was not going by script because I know he wouldn't let me speak, so I had to speak loud. Yeah, so I just had a conversation with Mansoor right now. And as you know, Mansoor, he just tries to dominate you. He goes by his dial script. He won't let you ask questions, so I had to repeatedly shout so he could, um, so I could get my points across. And Mansoor, Mansoor tried to prove to me that I was a false ex-Muslim. But I proved it right there, although I may have forgotten one thing, which I have made, because I'm human, I, I do tend to forget things. I, have, I, I, and I recited to him the entire prayer in Islam, right? And he still says I was a false ex-Muslim. I don't know what more they want. And I was, I, was, I was trying to come across the point to him that Abraham was not a, he was not a Jew, he was a Gentile, but he still wouldn't listen. Oh yeah, that's about it, man. <laughs> that's about it, but I haven't got much to say, man.